Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use single directory component in your Drupal instance. So single directory component is the core module and which is experimental in your Drupal uh, 10 instance. So it will be after 10.1 version of Drupal. You can go and check it. It's currently it's uh, experimental module. So it will help you to build your theme in component based structure. So component based structure means if this is a site, so if you have same uh, link like this edit in multiple places, you can use, you can create this as a separate component and you can use the same uh, component in multiple places. So you no need to write CSS for each page and also you no need to write HTML for each page or if you click on it, if, if it is uh, giving any JS behavior for that also, you can create component based styling, uh, JavaScript, and then HTML. So all will be segregated as a component. Uh, it will be easy to maintain in future, and also it will be reusable. So the code will be minimal in your uh, theming structure, okay? And then uh, to install this, so you must have Drupal instance 10.1 or more than that. And you must go to the single directory component admin module and you just need to enable them. Once that is done, and you have to create a theme and you have to add a component, I will tell you how to do this. And when it, when you, when it comes to pattern lab or any storybook or whatever, so what we will, we will be doing, we will be creating a component folder. Under that, we will be creating atoms, molecules, organs, some template, everything we will be creating, right? So in that way also you can segregate your component or you can keep all the component under the components folder, okay? And then uh, it must contain the following files. These two are the mandatory file. One is component or component.yml and my component.fig. And this is, this file you have to be created, but it can be empty, okay? It is not mandatory that you have to add some content in it, okay? And then it may contain other files. So you can have optional files in the component. So CSS, JavaScript, or any images, documents. If you are creating any button, for that button, you are going to use some icons. You can create an image folder or you can paste the image in that component folder. And then you can use that image in your styling. And you can have readme.md file, whatever you want. You can have all those. So these are the things you have to know before going to uh, work on single directory component. Next, uh, this is my Drupal instance. So when I go to extend, I already enabled uh, single directory component. Okay, so my Drupal version is 10.2. Okay, the module is already enabled. Once that is enabled, I created a sub theme. So if you don't know how, uh, how to create a new theme, you can go and check my uh, playlist where I created a video to create a custom theme. Here I created a theme and that theme extends base theme as Oliver. Okay, so this is what I created. And then next, uh, I'm just overriding only the node.html.fig file. So let it be there. I will explain it later. So the theme name is Showcase STC. When I go to Appearance, and here you can see the uh, SDC theme is enabled and kept as default. Okay. And then next, uh, node.html. In this, what I'm doing, I'm just overriding the default node.html grid, which is coming from Olivero theme, and I'm customizing the HTML. Here I am printing only two variables. One is body field and one is tag field. Uh, I have only these two fields and title that will come by default. So I have only these two fields in that uh, content type. Image is there, but I'm not printing here. I'm just printing only these two fields. And for this tag field, I am using component. I will explain how to do this. Uh, when you go to the site, here you can see the uh, node is loading and when I inspect here, so this is body value and I inspect. 
Here you can see the node.html.fig is coming from my custom theme, custom SDC. And this is the HTML which I created. And next is tag. Here you can see for the tag field, I'm using component. So component start, this particular component, and the component is getting end here. So I will explain how to do this. So first thing, what you have to do, you have to create a folder called component. Under that, as I already mentioned, you can have what a molecule, a template folder, whatever you want. Here, I'm not creating any folder like that. So I'm just creating my component inside that. I am mentioning tag field as a links here. So inside that link, as I already mentioned, you should have two files as a mandatory. One is compound.yml file and then twig file. Okay, so component.yml file, it can be empty. So I just kept it as empty. I will create a next video to explain what are the things you have to add it in the component.yml file. Let me explain very simple scenario uh, with STC. Okay, and next uh, links.twig. So where you will be having a HTML, which is going to print for your tag field. Here, I'm just creating a, a tag. So this class, let me remove it. No, it's not required. So here, a tag in href, I'm just giving a link and I'm just printing the uh, text. Here you can see the link is coming and then text is printing okay so this is how i created a component once you created a component you have to go to your any html quick file so whatever template you want to use this component you can go there so in this what i'm going to do for the link field i'm going to use the component which i created here you can see it has include so you have to use include and also you can use embed there are uh, based upon the scenario, you have to use the both. In future, I will create a separate video for that. Now I will just explain. Just give include and then component name. So first thing should be the module name or theme name where you are using the component. So this is the custom theme, SDC. So custom underscore SDC and your component name that is links. So I just added it. And then you have to pass variable for your uh, quick file, right? So that the link will be printed and text will be printed. First thing, link. For link, I'm just passing the URL value. So it will be coming as object. So I'm adding a render filter here. And then next one is text. So text, I'm just passing the plain text, okay? I'm passing link and text variable from this HTML.fig to this file. And when you go here, so link value and then text value will be coming from here. And this particular part will be replaced with this A tag. Okay. So the same thing is happening here. So under class tags, under class tags, this particular field is replaced with the component field. So uh, when you load, It will be coming like that. And that's it. This is how you have to use single directory component in your Drupal instance. And one more thing, uh, one minute. So if you are using Windows, single directory component will not be working for JS and CSS files. So I will show you the patch. I created a patch. You can go and check this. So this patch will help you to make it work on your uh, Windows system for STC. And this patch is required when you add JS and CSS file. I would add this link also in the description. If you want, you can go and check it. And then that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.